Well, thank you everyone for joining me again today. This is your host, ID Jester. This is part two of our Let's Play slash tutorial slash walkthrough of a game called Fallen Enchantress. Hopefully you've been able to watch uh, part one of this series and been following along on how things have progressed here. Started off with our main city here, Arthica, and we've actually have another new city up here to the north, Avainla. We got uh, two heroes running around the map. We've actually got uh, had some battles that have progressed, and um, we've got a couple heroes uh, that are have some uh, units with them now, so they're a little bit stronger, and we're trying to expand out. So far, uh, this is the area of the map that we've explored so far, trying to see what else is out in the world. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and get right back into it here. There's our main hero, Lord Aurelius Army, who has uh, our main champion hero there, Lord Aurelius, and the militia unit with him. And I think we will go on to that. Altar is in the center of a ruined temple. I need to find an item. Collar. Collar works great in getting the monsters to where it is hard. Use it to take control of an enemy beast unit that is within one tile. Okay, so this is like the one we had not too long ago. Excellent. Fire Shard, a presti prestigious location where we can build a monument there to produce influence for our faction. Alright, well, uh, we do have this, whatever this is, I'm not sure what it is major area of something so uh, there's some fire demons elementals here and we have some wolf spiders over here might wanna and uh, our second champion here Uriel is under attack we got some wolves that are attacking us there's three of them 20 attack they're uh, weak. We have seven of us, 42 attack, no defense. We got some spearmen, some militia, and our main hero. Yeah, we're going to fight these wolves and see what they're up to. All right, where are they? There they are up there at the top. Hopefully, they're not as tough as I was hoping. Um, 27 hit points. I don't want to get too close to those wolves right now. And I'm going to cast haste. I'm sorry. That's not haste. This is haste. On our spearmen here. We'll move them up a little bit closer. Oh. These guys, jeez. Okay, how about uh, we get some attacks in now? Nice attack, excellent. Move our main hero up there and we'll try True Strike. It's gonna give it an automatic attack, but it only does 75% of our damage. Oh, Spearman did a good job there. They got hit again. Come up here and see if we can finish off that guy. Yes, we can. All right, so we've earned some experience for all of our units here. We've got three wolf pelts. I'm thinking we can sell these. What do we have here going on? Never actually seen that before either. Must be where they're headed to. These guys are pretty tough, but I wonder with our new caller if we can take control of one of their enemies They're still pretty tough I don't know if I want to risk uh, actually fighting these guys but I'm trying to see where I wanted these guys to go we kind of have this northwest location pretty secured with our other hero here Um, let's head them up. Did 
into the animal air there. Animal bones. Find one item. A mushroom that's going to eat it and gain 25 hit points back. Alright. Boy, I'd really like to get rid of these guys. I'm just not sure I'm powerful enough. We're pretty damaged from the last battle as well, so... Maybe we'll have these guys. I don't want them to take them too far away from our town, but... Let's see if we head down this way, what we can find. Alright, let's bring our other champion down this way. See what we can find. I'm on a road here, so that's good. Gives us extra movement. We do have another pioneer unit being built. Um, we do have a medium quest here. That's what we should have our main hero do. If we look at our main hero again. Let's see. I believe we have some bonuses when we... When we... Complete quests. This quest here is a... Weak quest. So that's what we're going to have our hero do. Send him over this way. Do this quest. We'll have our secondary hero. Check out what's going on over here. Kind of secure this location so we can get our pioneer over there and build a town. We do have a bandit army, army here. 18 attack, 17 hit points. Shouldn't stand too much of a chance against us. Ooh, clearing the countryside. Sir, the village elder wishes to speak to you. Shall we allow him to approach? Sure, let's let him speak to us. The villager elder approaches you, my lord. You seem to be succeeding where we have failed. We've tried to form a village near here to provide care, safety, and meal for the few that follow me. But we're a little more than fattered calves from the darklings who came out of the night to slaughter us. They consume more of our wheat than we do and eat more of our lands I have failed. We look for a leader who can bring civilization back to our world. We would join you if you have us. Of course, we're glad to have you. The Elder smiles. We're grateful for your wisdom. We serve you until destiny takes us. Well, well, well. What do we have? Spearmen, militia. Um, I'm not sure. Ended armies weak. Let's try it. Uh, seven of us. Yeah, we're gonna fight these bandits. We do have some magic mana now, so uh, let's see what we got here. True strike. The mushrooms. Haste. We'll give haste to our spearmen again. And we'll bring them up front. Ah, them... oh, these wolves move so... Oh, they missed. Good. And we'll move these guys behind the wolves here and stab them in the back. Mm -hmm. Cast haste on our other guys. Take out these bandits, hopefully. I guess they should have been moving as well. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, miss. Bring these guys up. See if we can do some damage to these guys. There goes that guy. All right. So again, earn some experience, got some money, and a wolf pelt. And we've 
gone up to the level three. So we can cast uh, level two air spells, or we can choose more experience, more initiative, spell resistance, or spell uh, or um, carrying capacity. Yeah, I kind of like this. Casting air spells is always a cool thing. And now uh, we'll be able to raid the bandit camp there and see if they had something. Oh, some boots. Let's check out the boots. Uh, two to defense. Go ahead and equip that. Oh, well, the other thing we should be looking at. <laughs> Instead of attacking with our dagger, we should be attacking with our mace here. Gives us 12 attack versus 6 attack. We do lose some to our initiative, but it does have a chance equal to the damage done of knocking the victim prone. Um, let's put on our backpack here. Plus 1 to initiative. Hmm. Okay. really need any of that. Let's see, our encumbrance is at 46%. We don't actually have any armor for this guy. Huh. Oh, looks like another hero over here. Well, we're going to have to go talk to Arissa and see if she will join the winning side. Alright, this pioneer unit, I've waited long enough. We're going to head rush it for 25 Gildar. I'm going to bring them right here. And now we're going to start our fire altar here. That'll be good. We're getting a study done up on our other city. And uh, then we want to kind of expand out this way. So let's look at our. 87 Gildar, that's a little expensive, but after that gets done, we actually want another Pioneer. We're going to move them up in the chain, so... Oh, we can't actually do that because we don't have enough population, so I guess we won't be doing that. Maybe we can do that in our main city. Let's see. Train, Pioneer. Uh, can we do that? Nope, not enough population there either. So we haven't actually expanded our cities enough to get another pioneer yet. But eventually we will. Alright, so we're well on our way in episode 2. Um, we don't want these guys too close to the spiders. Uh, let's go talk to this young lady over here. Hello, Arissa. Hello, Arissa. I can't talk to her? Why can't I talk to her? There we go. Ah, she will gladly join forces with us. Um, one of the cool things about the hero we chose this time and some of our special racial abilities is we can recruit champions for free. Some of the other races don't have that ability, so it's one of our big bonuses. We can find other people to join the cause, and uh, we don't have to pay them to join. So that's always a good thing. Alright, so this guy's headed over to the wood hut here to get his quest. Arissa here. Let's see. What does Arissa know? Uh, what is this here? Wild wargs. Build a kennel here to produce wargs. Build a warg dang here to harvest. Huh. And a fire shard. Interesting. Interesting. I think the pioneers can build, besides cities, I think they can actually build an outpost which will take over that area around wherever you build an outpost and then you can so if we build an outpost here we'd be able to then build on the wild wargs and the fire shard as well 
can you check out this location? Uh, it's a book of something. Let's look at the book. Oh, look at all the stuff we got here. Mushrooms, wine, token of the wolf, which will summon us a wolf. Uh, this will give us plus one spell mastery. Let's see what Arissa here is. She has a dagger. Armenian blood lore master. Plus one research per season. Oh, that's a big help for us. She's a life apprentice. Let's check out her stats here. Okay. Mm spell mastery 73. So she is going to be our spell caster, it looks like. So I think what we'll do is um, have her meet up with these guys here so we can give her the book. Now, do we want to build a city here on the 3-3 right by the inn? Or, I think we actually do. Let's build a settlement there. Let's tr see what we can get done there. Our first thing we're going to do is... Hmm. Let's look at our... We're going to go ahead and build a merchant there. All right, so we've finished our technology upgrade there. So we can now build a garden, which is going to give us plus 15 food per grain, and a workshop, which gives us plus one production per material. Workshops boost production the city gets from its material yields. Okay. So we completed all the level one uh, civilization techs. We can now unlock trading, administration, agriculture, and mining. Agriculture gives us bakery, a granary, an integrated farm. Administration gives us festivals, missionary halls, town hall, and prestige. Trading gives us harbor and markets. Merchant cross bazaar, treaties and roads between cities yes i think i want to do this one for the roads specifically all right we have another uh what is this oh no this is our this is where we're headed right here actually okay a woman stands unmoving outside her small home it isn't until you get close that you realize she's standing at a crude grave she doesn't say anything as you approach and for a few long minutes after, then she then spills on the grave and turns towards you. What have you come to take? I have nothing left. I'm sorry for your loss, you say. Her eyes go vacant, and then she snaps back. When she notices you are eyeing the grave, she says, I don't know this one. Three men creatures came to my house and attacked my husband. He was a strong man once, but was unable to... Uh, take branches off an oak with one swing of an axe, but that was years ago. She grows quiet before continuing. They came before him, not f for the few pieces of gold we have in the butter jar, not for our chickens. They killed him right here, and when they did, one of the three fell down and died right beside him, even though he hadn't been struck. The other two carried Neville's body away, but left the dead one. I don't understand. Well, we will definitely avenge your husband. Explore the butcher man's lair. There's the butcher man's lair. So, uh, we will explore the butcher man's lair. Alright. Um, well, let's see. Don't want to get too close to the cave. Oh, the cave bear, actually. Let me think. Cave bear. 15 attack, 40. Hmm. Probably. 
Okay, our settlement is grown. Uh, when your settlements get enough people in them, they grow up to the next level, and then you can decide what they focus in on. Uh, this one here is our production city. So it's got a pretty good production, so we might be building a lot of units out of it. So getting a plus one level for each trained unit might be good. Research and... Yeah, I think we'll make a fortress there. Improvements and increases the level of units trained here by one. Select this to dedicate your city to defense and military pursuits. Alright, so that's what we will do. Alright, now let's see where we're at. This young lady, Arissa. We need to get her some units so she... We don't have to... worry about her. Oh, wait a minute. Did we give her... Oh, her other settlement is gone. Okay, this is our original town. Select this to dedicate your city to growth and financial. Extra research when production queue is empty. Hmm... We'll do this for growth and financial pursuits. Okay. So I think this is our original 422 city. So, yeah, I think we'll select that. Okay. So we do need to get Arissa a couple units to run around with so we don't have to worry about her dying. Actually, we got two units with this guy. But that's okay. Um, cuz we might actually want to take on this bear. What else we got over here? Spiders. Hmm. 50 attack. Well, hmm. Hmm. This is why we don't want our heroes just running around by themselves. So that's building. That's building. That's building. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but okay. I just wanted to see how long it was going to take, but we now got a fire altar. So that will give us some bonuses, I bet. If we look at our merchants, that's the next thing in the queue, which is going to give us more money. We've got a whole bunch of new things that we can uh, look into here. Growth per season might be good. S extra research, zone of control. That might actually, I don't know, we'll have to look at that. Extra food, unrest bonus, extra production workshops, boost the production the city gets from its material yields. Hmm. Well, we're going to go ahead and use the well after we complete our merchant's guild. Then up here, we're going to do the monument. And then after that, we are going to put the workshop in so we can get our units even faster done. Actually, let's be smart about it. We'll do the workshop first, and that'll get us faster for everything afterwards. Okay. Oops, did it make the change? Because it still says monument. Let's double check that. Workshop. Maybe it has to go through a turn before it'll update. All right, so construction is complete. City events. Wild horses now within our zone of control. Wild horses. We can build a stable here to harvest them. Uh, build a stable here to harvest. Build a stable here to produce. That should be then in our build queue. Yep. All right. Domestic events, which are. 
Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, so there we go. Let's see. I think everybody is everybody moved. No, we we're kind of debating what to do about Mr. Bear here. Let's fight Mr. Bear. It's only one of them. I mean, can he kill us all? I suppose he could. Um, okay, so let's move you over here. Let's move you here. Go ahead and give these guys haste. Move these guys here. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. Nice, nice hit. Hit him again. Alright, now I'm going to do my true strike. Nine damage. Oh, and he missed right off the bat. These bears, I forgot they have a special ability called Maul. Which means if they hit you, they can attack again and again and again until they actually miss their attack. So, having him miss an attack is really good for us. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Lots of experience, too. Okay, there's a howling coming from the cave, like an animal being torn apart, but the noise provides enough cover for you to slip close in and look inside. There are three figures in the half-light of the cave, two that are almost mistaken for corpses, except that they have a watchful eye on the third. They wear rugged white gowns, and their skin is ash gray. The third figure screams and chops his own body with his axe, but his body is, well past bleeding. As you watch, he chops through his neck, stifling his cries and finally dropping him to the ground. Come on. Uh-oh, what happened? Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. I can scroll it, but with my scroll, but still not sure. Um, let's see here. Within a few minutes, the screams begin anew, and he rises from the ground like an old shipwreck being dragged from the ocean floor. If it's death they seek, I shall give it to them. Okay, there's the guy with the axe. Takes 20 elemental damage. Takes 15 mana to do that. Um, creature type is not the right. Alright, uh, 10 fire. Alright, I think we'll do that on. It's 25 resist chance. Alright, we'll do that. Oh, really? Oh, we got some archers. Oh, well, these must be the guys that had joined us. All right, let's attack this. 20 damage, nice! Melissa, you just come and protect the archers. Oh, really? Okay, well. Let's do some burning hands and see how you like that. Ah, I gotta try 28 damage. These guys are awesome. I am so glad they joined up with us. Uh oh, 15 damage. Alright, well, we gotta kill this guy for sure now. Wow, alright. So Neville died and the Butcher Man's died. And we got six Gildar. And we've become level five. So another eight hit points. Plus four to dodge. 
Plus three attack versus opponents with a lower initiative. Oh, ignore 25% of the victim's defense. Plus two to critical hit chance. Plus 20% to critical hit damage. Uh, I think we decided to make him an assassin. If I, I'm not mistaken. Yep, Path of the Assassin. So that's why these, I think, are unlocked. So, plus 2 to critical hit chance, and plus 20 to critical hit damage. So, I think we will take those, since we are focusing in on... You watch half expectantly the creature to rise again, but they stay dead. As long as they are dead, they won't need this axe. The battle axe is built for war, and those with the strength to wield it are worthy of caution. Well, let's just take a look at Mr. Axe and see what Mr. Axe has to say. Here it is. 17 attack. Nice. And it has a backswing, so if the attack misses, the unit gets a second attack against the same target. Very nice. We do lose one to our initiative, but uh, we will definitely equip that. The other thing we're going to do now is because we are adjacent to our town, we can actually go in and trade with the shopkeeper. I, be I believe it's because we're adjacent to our town. Yes, yes. So we'll go back in and go into trade. Uh, so here's our items up here at the top. And here's a shopkeeper. Who has some stuff for sale. Monk's robes, shields, belt of precognition, which gives us plus 20 da uh, dodge to ranged attacks. Ring of ambers, one attack, one fire damage, 25% fire resistance, plus two hit points. Alright, so we got a lot of choices here, but some of the things we can get rid of are the rusty short sword. So let's sell that. Um, probably won't be using our ice spear anymore. I guess we could sell that. Yeah, might as well. Um, midnight stone plus five to spell resistance. One poison damage per round, uh, three hit points when an enemy is killed. No, we're not going to sell any of that. Let's see. Staff, club. Um, how much is this? 30 for 20 hit points. Hmm, one attack, one cold damage. Ring of life. Plus two hit points. Ring of Ambers. Ring of Dodging. We don't actually have any armor on this guy yet, so we're going to buy some Monk's Robes. Maybe. Um, no. Do not have enough Gildar. Really? Oh, that must be city total, not our total. Wait a minute. Where is our current money? Oh, I'm sorry. The it's 180 Gildar to buy the robes. Sorry, I was looking at value is 36. It's 180 Gildar to buy the. Uh, I get it. Okay, so 75 for the ring. Hmm. Two hit points for 75. That seems a little steep there, buddy. Uh, three defense for 180 Gildar. That seems a little steep, too. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. How much would he give us for this axe? Nine? Are you kidding me? Jeez. I'd really like to get that. 30 for 20 hit points seems kind of expensive too. Jeez, these people are pretty expensive. 
I guess I'm not going to buy anything right now. Um, Alright, so he came back to do that quest. We've got this whole area pretty much secured. We need to get another... <coughs> um, what do you call him here? Pioneer. Still says not enough population. Can't train. Hmm. Alright, well. Guess our city needs to get a little bigger. Let's see, can we build a one here? Because we definitely need one. Not enough population. Hmm. Bummer. Alright, well I guess we won't be building that there either. Let's see, does this other city... Can we build one there, maybe? Yeah, huh? No. I think that must be population throughout our whole realm, I guess. So you can either build one or you can't, one or the other. Alright, so let's slowly progress up this way and see what we see. Uh, these guys definitely don't want to fight that, but we do want to go into the den of the bear. Gold belt. Its enchantment is much stronger. Oh, let's take a look at our... No, not you. I want to go back to the other guys here. See what kind of belt we've come across here. Okay, well, well let's equip the belt. Might as well. He's got his mace. I think these are the guys that took a beating last time, though, so we need to... Yeah, they're only at 69 of 89 hit points, so we need to rest these guys up a little bit before they uh, keep adventuring out. Okay, we do have a bear we have to worry about. We don't need this lady mauled to death. Alright, so we have to decide what Lord Relius is going to do. What is Lord Relius going to do? Hmm... Well, Lord Aurelius, why don't you come this way? Oh, well, we just expanded out. You see your little borders? Beautiful. Excellent. Now we can do wild grain. Build a farm here to produce an additional grain for your city. So I think we are actually going to build that there. And I think that's going to go in our production queue farm. Yep. Plus one green. Okay. Well, coming along, I guess. Let's see what happens. These guys should be healing because they're inside our city here. Um, let's see, or within our boundaries, 74.97, okay, so you guys, come check out the equipment cache. Um, what do we get? Uh, fine wine, which really opens up the sluices at both ends. Drinking gives a plus three attack and a 10% chance of striking the wrong target. Okay. So we got a bear we have to worry about. Uh, you find a valuable item. The item is... Whitstone. What is that going to do for us? Oh, did I do it again? Keep clicking on the wrong... It automatically switches to the next character, but sometimes I don't want that. Okay, plus three critical chance. So can we equip this as well as our mace? I guess we can. Oh, we never gave our spell book to that other lady. Plus three 
plus one spell mastery. Well, we might as well use it ourselves then. What the heck? Cause these two aren't going to be able to get together for a while. She's going to be way up here. He's going to be way over there. All right, Crystal Craig. Well, let's put the helmet on, lady. Let's check out your helmet. <laughs> let's see her in her battle helmet there and her rusty old dagger. Yeah, we definitely need to get her somebody to adventure with. She's probably not going to stand much of a chance against anybody that... But I figured I would let her do some exploration. Twilight Bees. Apply an empathy here to acquire the calming benefit of Twilight Honey. Interesting. Alright, so we're finding more of the world here, which is always a good thing. Alright, these guys are a little bit healed up. Not fully, but getting there. Um... So I got one over there. I'm gonna have this guy go this way. Probably shouldn't leave my kingdom undefended, but I got a troll over here. I got all sorts of cool things we should be. Ancient temple here to produce research. We have grain for our cities. Bandit camp we already took out. Death shards. Uh, what else do we have here? Build a monument here to gather influence. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think heroes can build anything. Gold deposit. Ooh, gold. Gold. We had another gold way up here. Huh. That should be our next objective, I think, is to get this gold mine, get us some money. We do have research, five research per turn, basically. 80 influence. We're not gaining any influence per turn. Mana. We're gaining five mana per turn. That's three gold per turn, 2.9. And we have faction prestige of 6.5. Hmm. Okay, so interesting. I'm just afraid that if we leave our little area and start exploring out, somebody will come in and do something bad. And then. Um, so we'll kind of keep this guy a little close, I guess. Really need to get a couple more units. Your units here. Uh, can hold so many other, um, these are like army slots, so we've got two army, two armies in our army slots, looks like we have a very bill, two more slots, but we can get more of these with different research, so we've got a couple more slots we could fill up with, uh, I'd like to get these merchant buildings done, and our workshop, in fact, if we rush this, that's 52 Gildar. That's good. And then this guy here is 25 Gildar. Okay. Um, we're going to produce a workshop here. I think that'll. Oh, what are these? Are these? These are horses. We haven't actually produced that in our stables. Okay, so that'll be a little while, but we'll get to it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Fine, whatever, whatever. All right, so you guys come this way. You guys come this way. You that way. Ok, 
Okay, looks like we found a prismatic potion. Makes it immune to damage for three turns. Now that sounds like something good. All right, so trading. So now we have roads between our cities. So it'd be easy to travel between them. And a few other different things. We do want to look into our magic here and see what we have. Okay, we have rituals. We have items. We have spells heroes I think this would be good for us because we can recruit heroes for free so let's it's only going to take us seven turns to research so let's do that all right smooth these guys out a little bit let's see what she sees nothing that way okay Slow going through the woods. I guess uh, we should have gotten an explorer, I guess, after all. I'm going to have her kind of finish. This looks like the... Let me go back over to her. Uh, it looks like the top part of the map, so might as well finish that up while she's over there. Alright, where is this guy? Here we are. Alright, so you come down here. Growth potion. Drink it to gain plus 50 to attack and minus 20 to dodge. Okay. Um, looks like that whole area is pretty cleared out now. Uh oh, guys, didn't see them. Ooh, strong too. Uh, so we cannot end our turn close to these guys. There is a. Ooh, epic quest there. Hmm, let's move over here and hope we're far enough away that they won't come after us. Alright, what do we have? An Earth Shard, and we have the big old Oga. 37 hit points, 26 attack. Should be able to take that guy, I would think. He's medium difficulty. We are also now up to medium difficulty. Hmm. I'll tell you what, we'll move next to him, and if he decides to come out and attack us, well, I guess we'll fight him then. But if he doesn't come out to attack us, then we won't fight him. Alright, so we can build another city up here. Nice 5 2 1, 5 3 if we wanted more production, or 2 4 if we wanted really more production. Bring her back this way now. Alright, so... Oh, they did come over towards us. Ah. What do we have down... Oh, wow. What do we have down here? Yeah, Earth Elemental Army, which is strong. Boy, I was after this wooden grate, but man, that wooden grate might be death. Um, hmm. Um, uh, hmm. Get out of there. My wrath unbound. Huh. 26 attack. We do have these archers though. Man, they were... They were awesome. I am so glad they decided to join up with us. 42 hit points. That's a lot of hit points. We're going to fight them. I'm going to take a chance here. They're probably going to be worth... If we can get this guy, he's probably going to be worth a lot of experience points. And... I don't think a study collar will work on him because he's probably not considered a beast. Oh, no, no, no. I did not mean to walk up there. Shoot. Okay, well, crap. Of course he resisted. Um, shoot at this guy. There you go. I bet you this... Oh, shit. This guy's got a whole boulder. That's not good. I'm actually going to cast haste on our archers here because 
They do a lot of damage. Mm. Well, they were doing a lot of damage. Um, I don't think I really need to go up and fight this guy. <gasps> Holy crap, steaks! Um, yeah. Uh, Melissa, come over here and protect my hero. That's not great. Looks like he's going to get to act, too, so if he attacks me again, he could probably kill me. Oh, luckily, we killed him first. Well, he did some serious damage. Ten Gildar we got out of him. And a whole bunch of experience points. Wow. That was... Ouchie. Did he leave something behind for us to pick up, though? What do we got here? Cave bear. Cave bear. Let's keep her on the, the path here. and Bring her back this way, I think. Okay, these little creepy crawlers, whatever they're called, didn't come after us, so that's good. Let's... New technology, heroes! So we got a quest map, spawns a new quest. Uh, Adventurers Guild, uh, champions have a 25% chance of getting one XP per season. Uh, 25% champion recruitment cost. Well, that's nothing for us, because we, we don't pay that. Most monsters won't enter the outpost borders. Recruit level 5 champions, and summon familiar. Alright. Well, let's see what we can do in our... Yeah, let's do agriculture. C. All right. So where was this guy going? He was. Hmm. I guess I'll have her kind of watch over our area and let our two guys that have units maybe explore around for a little bit. Here's another board or something. Let's let's investigate. Dragon Statue, Epic Quest. Well, alright. A nearby life shard is now within our zone of control. Okay, so we got a life sh Oh, look at our boundary is opened up big time here. So, life shard. We're going to get. We're going to build on the life shard here. Life altar. Yeah, that sounds good. So we'll get the horses, then we'll get the life shard. We still need to get a sether. I know they're not sethers, but whatever the heck they are. Let's go into our city here. Um, I keep forgetting what they're called. Pioneer, sorry. God bless it. I'm going to build it whether they let me to or not. So this is not enough population. But I I don't know if that means we can't build another one maybe. No, that tells me I don't have enough population there either, but now it doesn't. I don't know. We're gonna build it and see, because I definitely need one for over here for sure. Get another city, maybe another outpost, do something, I don't know. But Uh oh. Message from Roslyn <sighs> Stravin, Lord Relis of Altar. Greetings. In the language of your people, your kingdom is strong, yet surely you know Aldenia's prophecy. 
it is Empire of Rosalyn who rise he foretow long ago to be first among all nations. That is our destiny, not yours. Okay, so this is one of the other heroes you can start the game with, I believe. Oracle Ceresa. Okay, when he is part of the kingdom. Or maybe he's part of the empires. I'm not sure. So uh, where the heck is he? Is this is this his boundary here? Is that what we're coming up against? Let's check it out. Let's see. Oh, monster. Come on, move. Oh, you're done? Okay. Okay, okay. What are we waiting? Oh, we got a city not doing anything. Bless it. Got to make sure you watch that. Um, hmm. We're actually going to build a spearman for our lady. So we have... Uh, ooh, strong. No, I don't think so. Oh, look at that, though. Den of the Silt Stock and Lost Line. Oh, Lost Rhinebury would be awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. 